Hello everybody. Welcome back to another art series video. Today, the featured artist is Godwin Koo. I first discovered this artist at the Stone Mountain Park Yellow Daisy Festival a few years ago. What caught my eye was he had some cat paintings. And that's my favorite, that's one of my hobbies, is collecting different um, cat arts and crafts. I collect just different cat pieces. Um, so he had some really wonderful cat paintings. And I've been, um, over the years, because he's usually at the Yellow Daisy Festival, been collecting a few of his pieces. Um, I'm on his website right now, and I will post it in the description box below. Um, I want to read a little bit about him. Godwin Koo is a well-known Atlanta-based Chinese artist. In his earlier years, Godwin studied under Professor Wu, a renowned artist in South China, and diligently studied traditional Chinese painting and calligraphy. In 1986, Godwin moved to the United States. He became one of the members of a community committee of the Atlanta High Museum of Art for two years, as well as one of the founders of Chinese American Art Association of Atlanta. In recent years, Godwin has been invited by several universities, companies, and other various organizations to teach and give demonstrations on both painting and calligraphy Included in the list are Emory University, Georgia Power, the Atlanta Chinese Culture Center, and the Atlanta Chinese Lion Club. Godwin Koo also participates in various art shows. He paints Chinese brush painting, which is Chinese watercolor, and calligraphy, and his artworks are a favorite amongst the crowds. So very true. Um, that's, I'm not going to read, I will put the website, like I said, you can read. He has, it's hard to read here. You can't see, forget it. I can't, he has a long list of accomplishments and awards. And if you're interested in knowing about those, you can look them up on his website. But what I'd like to do now, I'm going to, I have five, it's either five or six uh, um, other of his pieces that I've purchased in later years um, that are in storage because as some of you may know, as if you've seen some of my other videos, I'm living with my nephew. So a lot of my home belongings, furniture, paintings are in storage. So I don't have access to those. They're all packed up. But I do have three prints um, that I've purchased since I've moved here. So I'd like to show these to you. Isn't that pretty? Hello. <laughs> and then here's another one. And the pieces that I have um, in storage, I don't think I saw them on his website. Um, so I may have to do a follow-up if I'm able to purchase a home somewhere else and show you those pieces once I get unpacked and everything. But for, I have um, a few pieces that I copied and I want to do a slideshow for you so you can see some of his prints and see his amazing artwork. And again, I hope you'll go to his website and check him out. He does list on his website the art shows that he's going to attend. It may be too early for him to know yet about the Yellow Daisy Festival this year because it's in September. It's usually the weekend after Labor Day, Thursday through Sunday. So. Keep an eye out for that if you're in the Atlanta area. Um, otherwise, you can watch for other areas that he might be in. But for now, I'm going to take you to the slideshow, and I hope you enjoy it.